Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, Jackson. Sit. Sit. Everybody meet Jackson. I think you have before. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of our bait, our live bait shops here in my hometown have seemed to close. It, you know, they'll be open for a year or two and then they're just done. They just clo close doors. So I'm going to go uh, buy some goldfish from Petco just for tonight. We're going to get three to four lines set. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna drive 30 minutes to go get goldfish and perch from an actual nice big distributor that has everything I need but like I said it is 30 minutes away uh, it's just sad our town is 60 some thousand plus population and we don't even have one live bait shop uh, but we're gonna go get this bait and we're gonna go set some lines all right, guys, so we finally made it here to the Gosh Darn River. Went to Petco, got me some large goldfish. I think they're like four, $4 and something uh, per dozen. So about eight or nine bucks, I'm into 24 little little, little uh, goldfish. So uh, I know I'm going to have to trek through some water down here because it is flooded quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get my waders on. It's just easier that way. It's cold. And I am not about to freeze my butt off doing this at 2 and 4 o'clock in the morning and midnight when I have to come back and check these things. Let's roll. So the first spot here is a place that I is one of my most one of my most favorite places to sit lines at. It's actually the creek. It's not the actual big river. On this campground's where I'm at, the creek and the river meet. So when we get big rains like this, it backs this creek up and uh, floods like you'll see here in a minute. But it, it floods like this here and uh, just becomes really slow moving, nice new water that the flathead and catfish get back out of, out of that main cur current of the river up ahead. They get out of that and come here, come to this little guy. So we'll definitely catch some channel cat here. It's pretty nice right now, it's about perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and set one off of this tree. This is gonna be one of the only lines I'm gonna set that's not gonna be on my PVC poles, which yes, this is PVC or regular conduit. Cut it five to four to five foot long, six foot long, however long you want. Shank the end off like so. See this, how I shank that off on the end so it goes in easy. Tie on the correct amount of line. Good flowing water. I don't know how many ounce sinker this is. That is a one ounce, one ounce sinker. And uh, you're good to go. There's a, there's a deep hole right here, which they come back in. As you can see, it's cut out. The bank's cut out right here. So uh, that's where I'm gonna set this one at. Hooked him through his back. Got about a two, two and a half foot leader on there so we can really get it floating. Make sure your line don't get tangled. Oh, see, yeah, hey, make sure your line don't get tangled. That's what I said, right? This is one of the biggest goldfish I have. Like I said, I had to go get them at Petco, which probably isn't the best thing in the world. But tomorrow I'll be getting bigger perch and goldfish, so. There we go. So we got it way out in that hole. That sucker's just gonna flutter in the current. These suckers I just bought, I haven't found these before, but they're pre-cut five foot, what are they? Half inch, I believe. Yeah, half inch, five foot pre-cut conduit at Lowe's. So right there, them bad boys. And they're only like a dollar 20 something a piece. All you gotta do is shank the end off so I'll be making those up probably tonight or something. Oh, and on these poles, on all my poles, I write my name on them. You're supposed to have your name and your address, so I write all that in magic marker on all these poles, so all my old ones have it. Uh, and on the lines, you're, I hang a little tag off the limb by the base of it so it doesn't get jerked off. So uh, remember to always do that. So we got that one set. Wrote a new name and tag on it. I'm going to be headed up to the truck to uh, make up some tags and zip time to the tree limbs here. Like I said, this bait that I have is too small for, for my likings really. But right here what we're going to do, I have a really long, long 
a longer line here coming off this limb and if you can see where the mud meets the creek water there's a real hard mud line and uh, usually when you get it out by that line you'll have a lot of small small nice flatheads come and hit that so so we're going to try to do here there we go perfect we'll let that soak got it all tangled up oh my god that's deep that's my second time doing that this bank is steep wow all right Bobby pay attention to what the hell you're doing here that's the second time I've almost done that holy moly I've never seen the bank this steep here it's crazy so this next spot is a nice little rock spot a lot of smaller channel come up and feed off these rocks sit the line right on them it's money here's our rocks all this all these rocks here throw it out right in this pool and let her float look at that this spot I love this spot this spot really uh, really uh, catches quite a few let's get our name on the pole we have our labels right there on the line so we are good to go on all of the poles all of the PVC conduit poles I have taken magic marker and written on them so we are set to go I'm excited for tonight I wish I had bigger bait fish bigger perch and larger goldfish but it's gonna work for tonight and uh, tomorrow we'll get some bigger stuff so next clip gonna be us coming back in the dark and hoping that we have something on yeah we got booglet here with us I don't think they've met have they met you yet no. this is bug what up, dog? Yo. We are here. And, whoa. We might have action, Jackson. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It wasn't, I didn't sit it like that. That string is straight out. Yeah, we have some action. Let's hope. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got a fish. We got a fish. Come on, girl. Uh oh. Oh, darn it. He came off. There she is. Not a bad little guy. I don't know. If you're planning on eating these fish, like this seriously. Is what you want, yeah. yeah. Not seriously. Too fatty. Yeah. And this spot just does this. That hole, this is that hole cut out when I was placing it. I told you guys this is that hole in the bank. Like nothing but these guys. All catch and release today. I don't feel like cleaning anything. Doing it for the fun. Whoa, whoa, guy. The other way, George. The other way, George. The other way, George. There he goes. Next! Yeah, it looks... Oh, God. Looks like a limp line. Don't she? She's a limper. Fish and bait's still alive. Look at him. Man, this just isn't a good hole. I knew it wasn't going to be. There's not a good hole here. All right, so we reset one line, caught one fish. We are on the board. I think we got three lines to check. And then we will go do some regular pole fishing, cat fishing in the, uh, in the pond. Wait a couple hours and go check them again. All right, spot number two here. Third line. Yeah, dude, nothing on this one but a stick with no bait so i would say something was on it at one time or had it in its mouth well that's still a good sign i guess little bitty freaking things Not much in them. no all right try her out again there's we go there next here's the one off the branch Yeah, careful. Nothing on this. Damn. That's no bait again. All right, we got that one reset. Next. All right, here we are. Can't tell if anything's on it or not. Nope. 
Bait's still there. I'll be gosh dang. I've always had good luck right here though. I've caught a lot of fish off this limb. Alright. They're all rebaited. We'll let them soak. We're gonna we're gonna go do some uh, pole fishing on the pond. I'll turn on the camera if one of us uh, hooks into a large one, but other than that, the next clip will be us checking them again. <laughs> All right, we're here to, we've, <laughs> we've let them sit for about, I don't know, it's been about two hours, hadn't it? About two hours. Here's our first one. Ooh, I think something, ooh, something's on it. We, dude, we got yeah. something on it. She's tugging. Oh my God. Hold up, here we go. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh yeah, nice flathead dog. Oh yeah. Drag him up here. Don't oh. lose him. He's more close. Dang, dude, he's big. It's inside. It's I might have to get the pliers. There we go. There we go, look at him. Let me do it this way real quick, shine your light on him. Look at him, nice. How much you think he is? He's probably, I bet he's, I bet he's 15, 12, 12, 15 pounder. I left my scale up there. Nice fish, nice fish. Back. Let's let him go. He gone. Woo, doggy, that's a good fish. Dude, that was sick. Look at that big old bit. Dude, that's a good picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's thumbnail, baby. Waiting for Sasquatch? <laughs> Me too. It's a little creepy in here at night. Hey, quick tip, quick tip number nine. So if you're ever following somebody in the woods, don't get right behind them because you get slapped in the face by branches. Wow, your, your pocket's straight jamming, dude. So, it is the next morning. Uh, last night, we caught those two really nice fish. These bank lines, I love doing these bank lines. I do them this time every year when it starts when it starts flooding like this, and it's just, it's a freaking blast. I mean, it, it is so much fun. Uh, it's nonstop action, even, you know, like last night having five lines, I had them in the water for probably a total of about six hours before I caught that big second fish. So, it's a good time. I recommend you go doing it. Heavy knots, heavy hooks, heavy line, heavy weights. So, find you some holes, go put them suckers in here, and the, Go put them suckers in them holes and you're gonna have some fun. So, shout out to homie Flair, getting his uh, his swag, repping that swag, repping that Flair swag. Uh, I'm gonna pick up last night's vlog on the next video here. We're actually getting ready to go check these lines, so catch the next one. We'll see you guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one. Peace.